hi y'all so in the last video we have learned about like how we can fetch some text from an event right now uh, here in this video what we'll be doing we'll be take it to a next step like we have to fetch text from an input field okay so it can be input field it can be a text area anything okay but uh, what I am talking about let me explain you so let's go to the source demo website and here uh, let's say I have given standard user right and after I inserted the standard user sometimes what we have to verify like whether this value is getting added or not let's say user is typing something but it's not getting added then it doesn't make any sense right so for testing pers per, uh, from the testing perspective we need to verify whether what value user is entering in the field should be visible and user should be able to extract that value and verify it let's say I'm entering standard user then I can verify it whether I have entered standard user or not so to verify whether I have entered standard user or not then we need to fetch it right so how do you fetch it let's see let's try that so you might be thinking like okay I can use in our text or get uh, I mean text content right so let's try that first and see whether it's working or not so here we have uh, page dot locator dot click and dot text okay this is fine then let's say let's create the locator of this username field so it should be id equals to username so let's create the page dot locator and has this one right so and then we need to give fill right and uh, fill for entering the value and let's give the standard user only so and now what we want we want to fetch the entered value so entered value so that should be again page dot locator dot in our text let's try that first okay and let's run it by test and as just headed minus s and uh, basics and then test get text from element so let's see what value it is printing okay it was very fast but as you can see oh sorry my mistake so I have to print it value and I have to give a slow motion as well because it was super fast as does slow motion equals to a thousand okay now let's see it clicked and it entered standard user and then it closed but we are not able to see the uh, entered value right so that entered value is not getting printed over console so that means this inner text is not working so let's see whether we have any other methods available so obviously if inner text is not working then text content will not work as well because the difference is just like inner text will not uh, print you the I mean it will only print uh, the visible text right not the hidden text so actually there is another in I mean you can see here uh, in the drop in this uh, suggestion list this input value if you take this input value it will actually get the input value whatever we have entered so let me hover over it so here you can see returns the input value for the selected input tag so if there is an input tag or text area or select element these three type of element elements if if there is any these kind of elements are there and you need to fetch the value of that element then you need to use this input value method okay so 
if you come here here it is input tag there is a tag called input is there that is why we have to use that one but if it's in case a login button there is no input tag right there is there should be a button i mean here it is actually a button but i mean uh, value is login and login button uh, class is button type but here we do not have to use that one we can try it as well if this is input tag uh, then it should i mean i think we can get the uh, we can try it here as well okay whether it's uh, this git inner text is working or not and whether we need to use input value because there is the input tag that you can try now but here you can see this is an input field that is why it is we have to use that one and if you see like here this is just a div tag and within that h4 tag is there so we do not we cannot use this input value here and if you have seen some in a text area there also we need to use this input value method okay so let's run it now can see the value gets printed right so it's working now let's try it like whether this login button how do we fetch the value of this login so we are taking the locator login button and let's create a locator login button is to page dot locator and here we are passing this value login button and we need to give has so print login button dot uh, inner text okay now let's see whether it's working or not So as you can see the value is not getting printed right so inner text is not working here because i think because it is the input tag is there right so we can try uh, that input value so now it should fetch the login uh, the login text So as you can see the login text got fetched and as this was also input tag so that is why we need to use this input value okay and if more, more normally in case of button you should see some button tag okay but here it is input tag that is why we cannot use uh, this um, inner text or text content i hope it was helpful and let me know if you have any query Thank you for watching. Please like, share and subscribe.